Department of Fitness. This is Movement of the Week. I'm Johnny. I'm Vincent. Continuing, <laughs> continuing the NFL Combine theme today, we're going to be testing our broad jump. And what is a broad jump? Uh, from a standing start, you basically take a leap forward for as far as you can on a horizontal axis. So horizontal power, how much we have from a start, big pull of the arms forward. And just to compare some numbers here, we looked at the average past five years in NFL of broad jumps with um, similar weighted guys and the quarterbacks and safeties. And that jump was around... It was about 10 feet average for uh, most guys about our size. So. so there's a marker for us you know, in comparison of can we at least get that average possibly? Are we under it? Are we above it? It's a good challenge. And for exceptional athletes, we're San Francisco based. So Vernon Davis, the freak. Just a little. Just a little bit of freak. <laughs> like six foot three, 258, uh, broad jump. 10 feet 8 inches. So that's our super freak meter marker. 10 feet 8. Um, what do you expect for yourself? Any goal? I mean, I, I'd be happy to break 9 feet. 10 is 10 would be awesome. Uh, join us. Let's try this out. See where we're at. We'll come back and um, give you the results. To hit eight foot two, and I managed to hit nine two and a half. Long ways away from that ten eight. But yeah, exactly. We're not right. professional athletes. We're humble, humble athletes. Always <laughs> challenge ourselves. All right, let's talk about something we haven't brought up. This is weight and height. How that uh, kind of plays in, um, Vincent. So I'm five eleven and two hundred pounds, and I'm five foot ten, hundred eighty. Um, so just in terms of density and mass move through the air, you know, I, I'm having to propel an extra 20 pounds. A big difference uh, when it comes to, especially that broad jump, vertical jump, he has to move so much more mass um, and will ha extend a lot more power to get that, you know, uh, equivalent distance. Uh, as far as the comments go, um, last week when we filmed the 225 bench press, Daniel asked, what kind of diet programs and exercise programs will you be following? Will you be uh, maintaining your weight or, or trying to add weight as you get stronger? Um, yeah, we don't follow any real particular diet. We just have a set lifestyle that we tend to stick to. And for myself, um, I range around 3,500 to 4,000 calories a day. And uh, it's about 40% protein, 40% fat, around 20% carbs. It's high fat, high protein diet. But it works best for me and it's what I've used. But what might work for us might not work for you. With Johnny doing a higher volume and a lower intensity program, over the course of a workout, he'll hit around 50 to 60 reps, but it'll be closer to that 225 mark, 50 to 70% of his max. For myself, I'll be doing closer to 20 to 30 reps total in a workout, but I'll be floating around 85 to 95% of my maximum. So I'll be doing a very short workout, but very heavy, while Johnny's gonna be doing a longer one, but very light. And, and Vincent, um, how often are we doing our, our, our uh, bench training exercises for the week? So we'll be aiming for about three times a week, four if possible, but we'll see how the shoulders feel. Next week, what are we doing? Uh, we're going to go over the power clean. We won't be maxing out, but it is a staple in strength and conditioning programs throughout D1 football in the NFL. So we'll talk about it, go over the movement, what it can do for you, how to perform it. So if you have any questions about what we did today, our measurements with the NFL Combine, feel free to leave a comment. Yeah, thanks for watching. Camera Fitness Movements of the Week. I'm Johnny. I'm Vincent. We'll see you next week. All right, we are Twinsies, Tribe One American Apparel sponsored athletes. Great shirt. Yeah.